Sea of Thieves. Who is excited for the Pirates of the Caribbean Sea of Thieves crossover? I sure as heck am and I am so pumped to be here today and I'm going to be showing you another tutorial on how to make another character from Pirates of the Caribbean. I've had multiple requests uh, so I decided to make another one and I'm sorry it's taken me a couple days, more like a week, to get it done because I've been really busy this week but I finally got to it. So I'm really glad that I'm able to do this. Just give me one second. I'm going to make sure that the Twitch is set up right. There we go. I was just making sure that it was set up right. Because in a, some of the videos that I've made, I've noticed that the game is so loud that it's hard to hear me. And I have to do more work to make myself be actually heard. Okay, so welcome back everybody to SNG Gamers. Today, I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to make a see Sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean character. So first thing you want to do is you're going fi to want to find one of these huts, and it's going to have a boot on it. You know, once you find this boot, that means that you're going to find, like, all your clothing and stuff. Just come inside. Come on up. Talk to Carl. Or... Oh, I love this guy. This guy's so nice. He's that one guy, if you've seen my other tutorials for my other characters... The one that I was like, he sings, you know, my heart sings in your presence. He literally just said that. I was like, some shop owners are way nicer, and some of them are not. Like Cooper at um, Galleon's Grave Outpost. Excuse my language, the dude is a dick. That guy is just mean, like all the way around. The guy's just an asshole. Just avoid him if you don't like him. Okay, but today I'm bringing you none other than Admiral Norrington. Formerly... Commodore Norrington. Stay a while, brave wanderer. I will, maybe I will. So this is what he looks like. Now let me take take you back outside for just a second. I tried. This one was kind of a challenge to work with because there's not many options for him. But this is the end result for Admiral Norrington. He has like the yellow coat and like yellow hat and everything. So I try to get him, like, he's from the Royal Navy. So, try my best with that. So, let me show you. I'm going to take all this off. Norrington's getting nude and bald. Getting undressed. <laughs> okay, here we go. It'll load, there we go. Okay, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to come over here to hats. Now, this is very important because there are not very many options that look like his. There's only one in particular. And it's going to be, if you scroll all the way over, it's going to be this, not this one, I'm so sorry. It's going to be, where is it? I lost it now. This is embarrassing. There it is. Okay, first page, as soon as you come in, it's going to be this one. It's going to be coarse hair sea dog hat. It's got a yellow trim to it. It's perfect. Click it and buy it. It's not that expensive. If you're short on coin, this is a pretty good look because it does not cost much. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Belt, if you've seen my other tutorials, um, and like guides and walkthroughs and for other characters, just use the mercenary belt. It's got a golden buckle. It looks great. Go over to beard. Guess what? 
you don't have to worry about this because Admiral Norrington is clean shave. For this one, for boots, come on over to boots. This is important. You want to get your Admiral boots because it gets the, it has those royal like navy like the socks with it, and then the shoes with the buckle on them. So that's really important that you get those. There's not really many other options. I mean, you could choose whatever you want to do. That's completely up to you. But, you know, he doesn't really have Jack Sparrow, you know? He's part of the the Navy, the Royal Navy. So think of just like George Washington kind of era, you know? Totally different era, but like with like the powdered wigs and like the fancy dress and like all the fancy clothes, you know? So just kind of put your mindset right there. <clears throat> Go past dressed, go past eye patch, gloves, good thing for you. You could save some money here. He does not wear gloves unless you choose for him to. That's completely up to you. Now, this is important because there's only one option for his hair. That's high society. It's going to get you those rolls on the side. It's going to get like you that wig look. Your hair dye, you could skip past this one because you're going to need white dye and you already have it. Hook, skip past that baby. Go straight past. Jacket. This is very important. You have different options. You could do Grand Admiral Jacket, which does not look half bad. But see, it's not all the way yellow. I mean, my other one wasn't either, but see, like, you have a couple options. But if, if you're going to go for one that looks, like, really, like, clean and all nice and tidied up, like an Admiral would, come over, all the way over here to get the Black Coat Executive Admiral Jacket. You're going to set you up nicely with that yellow jacket. It's got that yellow um, the flaps on the side, the yellow collar. It's got them nice cuffs on the sides by his hands. It looks pretty good. So that'll get you taken care of there. He doesn't have a peg unless you choose it for him to. But if you're going to follow along with my tutorial, you're going to want to skip past that. Now shirt. I struggled to find a good shirt for him because there's no like identical yellow shirt. There's not just a plain yellow shirt. There's a plain yellow, like, crop top, but I don't think, you know, an admiral is going to be wearing this. <laughs> no. That's not him. I mean, see, you have, like, a renegade sea dog shirt, but you're like, is that what an admiral would wear? Is that what an admiral would wear? No. The best option that you can possibly have, in my opinion, is to get the black coat executive admiral shirt. Just match it up. Because it's clean, it's the cleanest you can get really out of it, unless you want to do something like this, but it just doesn't really fit Royal Navy. It's more of like the Spanish, like a Spaniard kind of thing. Wouldn't you think, you know, kind of be like a Spanish kind of look to it. Just like, let me get back over here to the jackets. This. Totally screams Spaniard, you know what I mean? Like with the armor and everything, screams Spanish. It does. I hope that doesn't offend anybody, but it's just what you think of. You think of, like, yellow plated armor. So, now, you want to come past your shirts. You're done with the shirt. I mean, you could do, like, Executive Admiral shirt there. You can really do this one, Admiral shirt, but that's more of, like, Jack Sparrow style. But you can do it. I mean, it's really up to you. You could do this one if you wanted to. I'm just going for what looks the most compatible and very clean now for p bottoms i kind of struggled to find it i did kind of struggle with this look because there's so few options to work with but i got it so mercenary trousers are like the closest you can get to white i bought those fairly inexpensive and i also got admiral trousers but admiral trousers will right at the kneecap you see how it's folded up Though there's still a gap when you put on the Admiral boots. Let me get back over here to boots. When you put on these Admiral boots, they only see they only come up just barely beneath the knee, and these just barely come right over top of the knee. So there's going to be a gap. Your knee is going to be showing. So I didn't show didn't choose that one. You could totally go with uh, silverine trousers if you feel like. Might be a little bit better, but I totally went with this one mercenary trousers and then I also bought let me find them keep on going over <clears throat> sorry about that I got mucus allergy season sorry I have to keep clear my throat 
I just want to, you know, not sound like this. <laughs> I want to speak clearly. But for the second option for here is you're going to want to get Black Coat Executive Admiral Trousers. They're pretty, they're not expensive. You see like, wow, they're surrounded by 24,000. They're not. Super cheap. I'm surprised that it's over this far because typically things vary in price. The further right you go in the menus, the more expensive it becomes. But this one, the uh, Black Coat Executive Admiral Trousers were just like screaming my name. They're like, hey, I'm cheap. I'm over here. This is what you want to get completely up to you makeup doesn't have any title he's an admiral now you're going to come all the way back over and back out you don't really have to come back over okay so vanity chest that's going to be all your accessories it has a little hook on it that's where you're going to find all like your hair your hair dye uh, your beards your pegs um, your hooks the whole nine yards all those accessories now this is where you find all of your like your clothes, your actual apparel. Now you're going to come over here to hats, and you're going to equip the coast. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry if I butcher this. Coarse hair sea dog hat. You're going to equip that. Bam! There you go. You're good to go. Shirt. Come on down here. I tried it with a sailor shirt. It just doesn't look very good. It looks kind of tacky. If you want to go for it, then go for it. Like if that's if you rock that style, go for it because the style looks good to me on my character. It might look fabulous on your character. So just do whatever you think looks great for you. But I equipped this one, Black Coat Executive Admiral shirt. It's kind of a button-up vest. It looks pretty good because you're not going to see any sleeves underneath the, underneath this coat, underneath this jacket. Now you're going to come over here to your jacket. Black Coat Executive Admiral jacket. Matching set. Looks pretty great. Now you're going to come past dress. Come on over to your belt. Equip the golden, the mercenary belt. So a common theme here is get something that's yellow. Because Commodore Norrington, sorry, I'm so sorry. Admiral Norrington, his um, uniform is primarily yellow. Yellow and like dark navy blue. Now in here, you have different options. You can do mercenary trousers. And I'll equip the boots right here, your admiral boots. Underwear, that's really up to you. You can go for blue for the navy. Now. This is what it looks like. Not bad, not bad. Really not bad at all. But for my original look when I had it, I chose this one. <clears throat> So whichever one you think looks better. Um, personally, if you're going with more of like the traditional, like Navy, like Royal Navy, you're going to want to go with something a little bit lighter like this. So let's go with that. We're rocking it. We're looking great. James Norrington over here, all right? We are looking good. Now for beard, you can skip past that. You don't have to worry about that. And you only have one option for hair gonna be high society all of them are gonna look like they're brown I mean a uh, blonde it's gonna be the only brown one there which is kind of interesting your hair dye you're gonna want it like so this first one is shadow black hair just come all the way down one two bone white polar opposite of that boom you have black right here and you have white right here now I know it would James Norrington only wears a like a wig. He actually has brown hair or black hair. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but he has dark hair. But for this, you could you're gonna want to go with the bone white hair because he's wearing a wig. Eye patch, you could skip past it. Hook, skip past it. Peg, title, all of that. And I think this has been literally like the fastest tutorial I think I've ever made. Okay, I see you jamming out. All right. There we go. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Admiral James Norrington of Pirates of the Caribbean.
Why do I keep grabbing the bucket? No, okay, repair the ship. Okay. I'm sorry. That's what I was going for. There you go. Let me get to somewhere that's a little bit more lit. Hey, what's up, man? Just need to borrow your spotlight for a second. There you go. There you have it, people. You asked for it, and you got it. I will keep. Con I will continue to do this, and I plan to do a Sea of Thieves Parts of the Caribbean crossover entire series. So if you'd like to see that, definitely let me know down in the comments below because I'm going to be finding Dex Barrow. The way that I see this is so perfect because James Norrington chases Jack Sparrow. You know, they're kind of rivals a little bit. So he chases him, and so... Jack Sparrow is coming to Sea of Thieves, so it'll be perfectly set up for the two to eventually meet. So this is going to be a great series. So if you want to keep, you know, if, if you would like to watch this or you want me to make this, definitely let me know, know down in the comments below, and I will get right on that. As quick as I can, as, you know, in a timely matter, as much as I can. You know, just school kind of puts a kink in things, that's why this took so long to make. But uh, I really am trying to do this as quick as I can, and just... Bring it to you fresh, like right out of the box. Like I'm making this one day and I'm getting it uploaded the same day. So we're going to be pushing this out as quick as we can. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please con consider subscribing to my channel, liking it, le letting me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Any more suggestions, any ideas or uh, videos you want me to make? Because I've made all the videos I'm going to make so far. I have a couple others that I've just like recorded and I'm just going to put together. But that's for other series like Red Dead Redemption. I have like one or maybe two more videos that I might make in the future just to wrap it up. Because I don't plan on recording the entire story again. But uh, yeah, for as I'm going right now, Sea Thieves is really going to be where I'm primarily at. Because of all the support I'm getting for it. I really want to say thank you everybody so much for watching my videos and providing me with ideas and suggestions and just your full-on support. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you so much for your loyalty and coming to my channel and making me feel very special and unique. I really want to say just thank you for that because prior to this point, I never really had any sort of big audience with this. And now I'm starting to get up to, looks like, 800 views off of uh, Captain Barbosa alone. And that is crazy. Like, I've never seen any of my videos ever make it past bare minimum, like, 50. So, every single video that I've thrown out there to y'all, y'all have made me feel like a million bucks. And I just want to say thank you so much for that. And there's way more to come. So, if you stick around, you're in for some good videos. Because the more you, like, suggest and the more, like, approval I get from y'all, the more I make. So what you give, I return back. That's how it works. It's, it's going to be a two-way street. I provide videos, you provide viewership and good positive feedback, and I keep it going. I keep it running. Whatever you want, that's what comes out. So I'm just the producer. I just want to say thank you so much again. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button, check out the videos down below or over to the side. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay tuned for the next one to come out for Pirates of the Caribbean because it's coming. I'm going to make one. I'm so so excited and so stoked. Jack Sparrow, Captain, Gi uh, Captain Gibbs, Captain Barbosa, Gibbs is going to be there, and Davy Jones, and the Flying Dutchman. And I also learned something today. In the trailer, when Davy Jones is like, destroy them all, or whatever he says, and then there's just that shockwave. That's actually that Kraken's hammer, and he actually can summon the Kraken. In this up in upcoming update, he can actually summon the Kraken right there, right then and there. So just be aware of, just be aware of that. Sirens are coming, so the mermaids that help you now, then now there's evil ones that are very vicious in the water. You have crustaceans, which are like enemies. They're going to be like those crab things that have the big oyster heads. You have the phantoms. You have all kinds of stuff coming. So it's going to be one heck of a series. So stick around. You have places from Pirates of the Caribbean that are coming. You're going, we're going to go to Tortuga. Heck yeah, we are. Best believe we are. 
We're gonna go find Jack Sparrow first thing, because he's on the Ferry of the Damned, so you know where to look. <clears throat> and you can also watch along with me. So, I wait for that update to come out tomorrow, and in, in high anticipation, I'm really stoked for it. So, if you want to check that out, come on ahead. Come along for the voyage. Now, bring me that horizon. I'm ready. If you enjoyed the video, come see me next time. I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care. And goodbye.